Hello my friend, Bruce here. So today we're going to take this speaker out. It's, uh, it's, um, you can hardly understand it, it's all just garbled deep bass. So something's popped inside the speaker, we're going to take, so we're going to take this door panel off of here. Altogether there are one, two, three, four, five screws to get this out of here. I've got two of the screws out already and then I stopped. So we're going to get the, the rest out. If you look right here, the two most important ones are this one in the door handle and this one, I think there's one more, right down in there, do you see that little tiny door? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Right there, that guy right there. So that's the next two we'll get. And then we'll try and get this door, door panel off. So that one's out, that one's out. Oh, this one's next, I think. Here. So we're going to take this door panel, off, this one off next. So here they are, the screws behind the head, right there. Time here, I, gotta, I want to get over to the electronics place before 5 o'clock. So now I'm going to take this little cover off right here. Right there, and you see that? Oh, got to look up a little bit. Is this fighting me? I got the other two. It fell on the ground. Isn't that the way? Here it is. It's number three. We're good. Take this screw out. Good. So this is the outside three, and then there's this one in here. Okay, you got it. And then the other one is right in here. It's behind the bar. Right. I want you to see it. There. dark in here, eh? Okay. I really like the idea of putting this in a little bag, eh? And you don't miss and lose everything. Okay, so did we get them all? I think there's five. There we go. I'm going to make sure now that we're all the way across. One, two, I gotta get down on my hands and knees. One moment, please. We're gonna have a surprise when we get into here, too. I wanna make, make sure there's nothing underneath there. That's right. All the way up and around. So one, two, three, four, five. Now the next trick, it's not a trick, it's not a dog, it's a car, is, uh, Right over here, we look up. It's this triangle right here, and that's where this little uh, tool comes in handy again. And that's all there is to that, eh? Isn't that easy? And now we say they say that all we have to do is pull out on the door and up. So we're gonna come back a little bit so you can see more. Okay. Now they say you pull out on the frame. And 
and then up. There's a little slot underneath there. There we go. So did you get that? Good. Stuff glued a bit, eh? So I'm going to unplug the speaker and unplug the connector for the door electric windows, and there we are. Did you get that? I just had to get those few clips out from underneath here. Ah, there we are. Now I've heard that this little speaker is riveted in. Let's have a look. The door door handle hooser came off. Yes, it's riveted in. Okay, let's get that speaker out of there. I'll be right back. Did you guys get that? Right there. We gotta, we have to drill that out. Be right back. Alright, we're gonna drill those rivets out. We're gonna start with an easy one, then we'll go to a hard one. 3 16 bit. Good. That's all it is. One. I'll just put that in my pocket. Let's do the other two down here that are harder. Don't push. Just let it happen. Unplug that. Good. That should come off now. But we still have rivets in the hole. Ta da! I'm just going to check for connections, right? Because uh, you just never know. Okay, now I'm going to go over to the electronics store. I know they'll charge me more than Amazon, but it's a local store. We'll see how we do. Okay, guys, here's the old speaker. Oh my gosh, the new speakers were 165 Canadian, but I'm sure they're a much better quality. So I want to get the connector off of this one. So I want to reuse this connector and plug it into the... Uh, oh, it should go. Yeah, it's gonna come. Just gotta get persuasive. Persuasive. And there it is. Ouch! Poke yourself. Okay. I am gonna use this casing to mount the new speaker in, but right now I am just gonna disconnect this. We'll just. You know what? Let's do this right. I'll be right back. Okay, so while the soldering iron's warming up, I'm just cutting these here. I did the red one already. And we're just going to pull that out like that. I'm not even going to wire this one up with solder yet. But I'm going to strip the end. I'm just going to wire it up au temporaire to see what it sounds like. Alright, let's just take this over to the car now. Hopefully she sounds as good as ever, right?
This is. Are you guys with me? Not quite, eh? We're working down here. Oh yeah, as good as we can, right? Okay, plug that bad boy in. I hear something. Oh. You know. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn you off for a minute. Alright, I'm going to solder the connector from the car onto here so I can just plug in the car. We might do the, we might do the other speaker, we might not. They don't sound a heck of a lot different except this one's a larger wattage. There, we use the old speaker. There we go. Now I can fill the hole. The whole concept is to have that hole filled so you don't get a cold solder joint. Start it up again. Been a while since I did this. There. I'm out of I'm out of touch. That'll work. Okay, let's do the other one now. Go to the other side. Can you still see? Sort of, kind of? I'm going to go through the hole the other way because I haven't got a lot of wire left on this black one. Okay, I should do a little better this time. I'll fold it over, trim it off, because I don't need that much. The magnet gets you, right? It's been a while since I soldered a speaker, probably more, more than 20 years. Okay. Here we go, baby. Now, have you guys got that? We're just going to heat her up, fill the hole, and pull her away. A little dab will do you. That's it. After all that nonsense. Hey guys, it's a little brighter in here. I'm just going to drill out the rest of these rivets. They might push out. Nope. Hmm. It's the next day, by the way. Well, that should help. Oh, it's gonna come. Hmm. Grinder? Maybe, eh? Yeah, I'm just gonna grind those off. I gotta start using my head. There. Bruce's Audio Tech Shop. There we go. Okay, let's do... I'm not going to muck up the other ones, I'm just going to cut them off. I'm back. Don't worry. There we go. Good. Now I want to see if my rivet will fit that.
Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Perfecto mundo, girl or Rooney. Good. Yes, I think we can try and rivet that in. Let's move you over just a little bit. And we'll uh, just start up anew here. Just hang on. Alright, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the other side. But on this side, there was a ridge right here, all the way around. And it was, it was preventing me from screwing this down without torquing the, the shape of the sc uh, speaker. So I just cut that edge off with... Uh, a disc grinder and then I cleaned up the mess with a flap disc. Looks a lot better. And we'll talk to you in, in a couple of minutes. It won't be any time at all for you. Okay, so there's the speaker mounted in the in the frame. Wiring connectors back on, on the, the proper spot. The screws are set in. So my problem was that little ridge was sitting this ridge here, I cut it off, it was just sitting right there on the speakers, so it was kind of deforming down to where the screws were and then up and then down where the screws were. Probably not a big deal, but anyway, we got it. My next emergency is to see if my rivet will actually reach through the plastic and through the steel in the door. Should. It should. <laughs> Close. So I'll get you set up. So right here, I'm gonna rivet that on. I hope it. I hope it cl clicks. But what I should probably do, although I might have some adjustment. Oh. And then I oh yeah, I got it now. There's these two pins right there and there, and they'll hold it on there while I rivet it. There's two nice little guides. That's why it was really nice to pick this speaker housing, put it back in service, eh? Okay. We gotta do a major major sweep of this floor after. Oh man, I don't want to wreck this speaker, guys. And another thing you have to watch when you're doing speakers, if you lay them down on your bench or whatever. There, it came out. It came out must have come out of a hole. Is there a hole in the door down there? Okay. Uh, you have to watch the magnet on the speaker. Screws and stuff can stick to this thing, eh? Okay. Here we go. The guides, these little plastic pokers. Right there and there. They go into there. That's actually a nice thing. I like that. Now, if we're lucky, I can rivet this in there. <clears throat> I have to really push on it. Is it going to stay? Yep. So I just got to do the other three, and we can put the door panel back on. Well, there's my uh, installation. Riveted back in, all four rivets, like the way it was. And then I just took this ridge off of here. I should have bought the six and three quarter speakers to sit on the output of the ridge, but uh, we're all right. And uh, so there's four Canadian Robertson screws holding that into the deep plastic all the way around. Factory plug-in, right there, Ooh, right there very happy and it sounds awesome it sounds great I'm thrilled thanks guys all right guys we're gonna put this door panel back on now everything works can you see that so I'm working here there's a little tear there, but that's gooped back on. We have to plug the... How much want to see something? A 
I'm using one of the uh, pins from my truck. So it's going to go into this hole. Yeah, should be good. You know one thing I have not done though? I have not tried the window. So I'm going to just... She goes like that. Click. Not a nice sound, eh? We'll just hang this right up here like we did before, but opposite. And I'm going to turn on the key and roll down the window. So it's a matter of popping this back on now. Oh, I'm going to oil these up. Just one moment, please. Steve OJ told me to do this. to uh, squirt these guys with a tiny bit of lubricant. It was actually stuck on up there, wasn't it? Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. There's only so many things you can do, right? Should do yes 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 pieces of this is actually quite a smart thing I'm doing here hard to believe I'm going to put a little piece of masking tape where every clip is one there one there there's one right there. One right there. Or oh, there's going to be two more. Wow! There. So I see the tape. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Good. Well, let's give her a go. See if she's settling in the hole. It is. Good. That's okay. Okay, now just the screws. And then we do the other side. Holy crap! Are you guys looking at me? Sort of. Okay, well I'm going to do the two in the door first. Work my way out. There should be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, okay there's two fat guys because they're the ones that go into the door here and here. Then there should be three left over. One, two, three. Perfect! I love it! Should I use a machine or should I use a screwdriver?
There, it's back to where it was. And then these get a little black cap on. I haven't lost anything. I got three of them too. One, two, three. Right here, over top of the screw. They hardly even stay on me, eh? like it's just weirdness. Two, and then three. Done! Just like that. Like it never happened. So just remember, where am I? Should get some light? Use the light, Bruce. You saw it first here on Bruce Pender TV. Now I gotta get the other one done in about two hours if I can. Thanks. Okay, my friends. This time, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take out the speaker enclosure. I'm just gonna cut the old speaker out. Cut the wires. Cut this ridge out of here. This is the ridge I was talking about right here. Because my speaker is exactly the width, so it cut, was kind of distorting. Yes, I will lose the foam a little bit. But let's do it. Really feels weird sticking a knife into an old, a good speaker, right? But is it a good speaker? Yes, we do. I'll cut them off short. Oh, you know what? I'm going to cut the. I'm going to cut the uh, brackets out first. wires are yellow and black, not red and black. La -la! Now I'm going to try and cut these off a little more flush. You think I can do it with my red side cutters? Yes. Some stuff's falling in. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it. Although it's not the end of the world. If this was your shop, they'd say, are you just starting the second speaker now? Clean them up. <laughs> Falling off my little stool. I'm going to just grind down those edges. I have to get this out or just make it longer. You know what? I'm going to just leave that clipped in there. And although, <laughs> yes, it's got to go through to the new speaker. So now, 
I'm just going to make these the same length. Strip off a half an inch. I'm already saving time. Block to block. And we'll solder these ends up. Yeah, this is way faster. Just like that. And the black one. Good. Now, where did my other heat shrink go? Okay, we're good. Let's just do this and this. Make sure it's kind of in the middle. And then we need our lighter. Paperback lighter. You guys will enjoy this. Can you see? Yes, you can. So, there's the heat shrink. There's two ways to do this. You can use a you can use a uh, heat gun. But candy is dandy and liquor is quicker. All right. Good. So now we have an extension of the same two yellow and black wires that come out of that connector. We don't have to break the connector. We don't have to take this off. We don't have to put that back on. The only thing I want to do now, and it's really messy, is cut this ridge off of here so I can mount the speaker to this ridge. So I'm not sure if I should... I'll just show you what I'm going to do. I'll go get the grinder. This is pretty, if I'd have bought a speaker that was a half an inch bigger, like six and a, or even a quarter inch, six and three quarters, I wouldn't have to do this. But, now, you know what I might also do, just to prevent more schmoo. Don't go away. Don't go away mad, just go away. Alright, this is true, we don't have any junk in the bottom here that we, we can just pick out. Not bad. Nope, not bad. But I'm just going to stick this in here. <laughs> this might not work. It's a pretty big towel. Okay, let's just try. More light, don't. Where's the light? Use the light, Bruce. This grinder's getting old, eh? Alright, functional test before reassembly. So, 
I what I did was I cleaned up the edges of the speaker assembly or the speaker retaining assembly right this and then I soldered the two wires on making sure there's no hole left in the in the tab for the speaker we're just going to turn on the radio now in the truck in the car It's not going to sound good until we actually get it screwed into place, right? Am I getting ahead of myself? This is going pretty good. <laughs> okay. We are going to... This is where we kind of have to guess a little bit. We're going to go vertical. I think maybe the best one to do would be down here holding up the weight. Although I can't see that well. So let's do this one, right? Well, I think that's pretty darn good. How do the wires look? They look centered. Centered. Okay. Well, I can see the hole, that's good. Okay, that's gonna hold the speaker there. Might just take that back a half a turn. There, now there's no pressure on that. Let's do one of the opposite side. Another screw. I should have set that up ahead of time. Is that dinging driving you nuts? That kind of stuff doesn't bother me, but it drives my wife crazy. Come on, baby. We hook into that one. And we find our hole. It's going backwards. Okay, now, let's do our other two holes while, we, while we're mucking about. One there. Yeah, that's going to work. There, I just uh, adjusted it a skosh, eh? <clears throat> I guess I could take that key out. Take the key out of that magnetized, magnetized tray. Put it in my pocket so I can forget it's there. Good. And the next one. And we are done, Bob. I'm just going to get a screwing device. Number five. Number. Whoa! A number uh, six Robertson. I call them a number six, not because of the head size, but because of the, the shaft size. And again, let's just have a feel here. You want them in tight, but you don't want them in stupid tight, right? Because then things start stripping and you get mad and not happy about stuff. Okay. One more little test. Make sure the speaker works. Beautiful. I'm going to take a little break now. Thanks, guys. Oh, okay, let's start. 
Now, the next thing is to put this door panel on here. I did just put a couple of dabs of oil on these clips. There isn't a clip here. I broke it. But there's the two screws that hold the door on there and there. Can you see that? Uh, yeah, there and there. So you do what you got to do in this world. Okay, right, so now we have two connectors. I'm going to do this ugly one first. Oh, it goes in that way. Good. And then this one goes in like that. Good. And then we're just going to hang hang this on. Oh, there's a little goober there. Okay. Now I'm going to just turn the key on and see if we can we can do everything. Functional test before complete. Okay, windows. Guys, this car is 13 years old. Yep, yeah, right. And then we want to adjust the mirrors. So left. There we go. That's right. And then right. Good. Okay. So everything functionally works. Let's check the speaker one more time. Oh, yeah, baby. Now I just have to uh, get some tape once again and mark where the slapper bappers are. That's these pins I was talking about. There's one there. There's one there. Right there. And there should be another one right there. Is that it? Yes, because the screws are going to hold it there. We're good. Are we in the holes? We're close to whoa, 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 whoa. So, I'm going to start up here. Now we should just have three screws to finish this job off. So this side was quite a bit easier than the other side. Same result. Okay, and then where's the screwdriver? Should be right here. This is a good. I always love it when they tighten up, right? Not just go around and around and around and around. Door here that closes. A little door here that closes. And then it's just a few screws into the door. Two. Three.
used to be a nice drip. We are there, baby. And then just two little plugs. Yeah, I lost one. Okay, so this is the end of her. That little plug right, where is it? There. There it is. I'm missing one of these. But you pretty well have to stand on your head to see it. Good. I think I'm out of parts. So once again, here we go. Mrs. P's car is all back together again. Thanks, guys. So this is a good time to ask. Let's bring you down. Gonna bring you down. Whew. So that's two speakers changed out on a uh, Kia Soul 2010 and uh, one of them I took the speaker assembly out of the door and the second one I did not take the speaker assembly out of the door. I hope I can put this together in a video. It's going to be fairly long, maybe a part one, part two. I don't know. But if you'd like to subscribe and hit the bell, that would help me. I'm trying to hit a milestone fairly soon. So anyway, thank you very much. And uh, we did it with your help.